Journey with me. It's 1873, an African-American Baptist church of St. Marcus, Texas, is being burned to the ground by the KKK. They're taking flame, purchased by hard-earned hatred and trying to turn the building into a mixed pile of ash and scorched receipts, what misery. Yet another community gets swallowed up by senseless violence. The assailant sees the validation of humanity as a fleeting commodity, so they try to deny it in others. The congregation gathers for prayer with smoke filling their lungs, and wouldn't you decide? Which town to point your feet towards next? How quickly would your legs run to the nearest neighborhood that actually sees you as neighbor, as human? How fast would your feet race to wherever races aren't but no? But they decided their legs weren't meant to leave this fight, but to stand in it, to stand tall, to stand strong, to stand together for something worth standing for. Hate bore flame and left the landmark with pain. But wherever brothers and sisters are standing together, it creates landmarks for change, a landmark of grace. Though it took decades, they rebuilt their walls even stronger and reopened their doors for those in need, a landmark of hope. When their enemies came back, blacks and whites stood together with a collective, I wish you would, on their faces. They didn't back down, a landmark of love. You can find a good story here, one where humanity is championed over fear, where we see people as people, where we see people as our people. May our landmarks remind us, not only of where we've been, but of who we are. May our love unite us to stand as resilient as a building fireproof by courage. May we journey together. May we build and rebuild together. Let us build a tomorrow. Let us build a future that flame, that flame cannot take. And these scholars believe this building to be one of the most important churches in the state of Texas. We want to honor it. We want to rebuild it to the glory that it once was.